Hello, everyone. Before starting the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. In this video, I will show you that, how will you download the firmware for your Ruckus device from Ruckus official website in few steps. Since, I am using Ruckus R510 access point, so, in this video, I will be downloading the latest firmware for my Ruckus R510 device. I am using my Ruckus R510 device as an example. You might be using another device from Ruckus, but don't worry, procedure is the same to download the firmware for any Ruckus device. Prerequisites Before accessing the download page, you must need the following information first. Number 1. To download the firmware from Ruckus official website, it is very important that we must have created our account on Ruckus Cloud. I already have created my account on Ruckus Cloud, so I will be using my own account to download the firmware from Ruckus website. So, if you don't have an account on Ruckus Cloud, then create the one before trying to download the firmware. Number 2. You must know the model number of your Ruckus device. If not, then check the label on the rear side of the device. Number 3. You must know that which mode your device is working in. I mean which type of firmware you will be downloading for your device, that is solo firmware or unleashed etc. Note. We cannot download a firmware from Ruckus official website, until and unless we log into our account. Now, to download the firmware, I will first open the web browser. I will type the full URL address like www.ruckuswireless.com and then press the Enter button. When the main page opens, click on the support button or link. A drop-down menu will appear. Here click on the link, Support Portal. As soon as I click on the, Support Portal, link, it will take me to another page. Here it is asking me to enter my account's credentials, I mean the username and the password to log into my Ruckus account first. As I mentioned before that, I already have created my account on Ruckus Cloud, so I will enter my credentials. If I didn't have an account then, I can create one by clicking on the link given below, which says, Join Now. Now, I will enter the username, I mean the email address and the password here and then, I will click on the Login button. After successfully logging in, I will be taken to another page, where, I will click on the Download button, or Download tab. After clicking on the Download tab, the product selection page will appear. Here, I will select my product, I mean the Ruckus device with model number R510. You will select the device model number which you have. To select the product, I will click on the drop-down button so that the drop-down menu will be displayed with all the product's information. As I mentioned before that, in this video, I will be using the Ruckus R510 device for demo purpose. Remember that, procedure is the same for all devices. So, here, I will search and click on the device model, Ruckus R510, to select the product. After selecting the product, it will take me to the product's detail page where all the information of the selected product will be displayed. We must wait for a moment so that this page loads completely. We can see the image on this page, which is exactly the product that I selected. I mean, it is the Ruckus R510 device. After confirmation of the product and the page, I will scroll down and, again I will click on the Download button or the Download tab. Here, we can see all the firmware compatible with my product. This page contains all types of firmware compatible with my device. If we scroll down, we will see here the solo firmware, the unleashed firmware, 
the Zone Director firmware and other relevant software as well. It must be keep in mind while downloading the firmware that, the firmware which we download, must be available for all users, not only for premium users. I will show you an example to download the latest firmware available for Ruckus R510 access point. As we can see that this is the latest solo firmware on the top which is available at the moment. Let me open this link in a new tab. It says that, this firmware is available for all users, which means I can easily download this firmware. If it says that, this firmware is available for premium users then, no need to waste your time to download this firmware because, it needs a premium account, I mean a paid account. Since, I have a free account, so, I will download the one which is available for all users. Now, to download this firmware, I will click on the, Download Software, button. Scroll down till the end of this page. Here, choose the option, which says, I understand and agree. Then click on the, Download button. Now it is asking to choose the location, where I need to save the file. So, I will select the desktop because I want to save it on the desktop. You may choose any location of your choice. Now, I will rename it with prefix Ruckus R510, because I have different other firmware, which I have saved on my PC. The model name will make it easy for me to search the exact file while updating the firmware. You can assign it any name of your choice. Now, I will click on the Save button to save the file on the desktop. The download process will begin. The file has been downloaded successfully and saved on the desktop. Let me show you the file on the desktop, which I downloaded. I will minimize the browser here. We can see that the file has been saved on the desktop. That's it. These are just simple steps to download any firmware for any Ruckus device from Ruckus official website. I hope this video will help you if you are intended to download the firmware for your Ruckus device. Keep supporting this channel by like and share my videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hey! Please! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any query, leave it in the comments section below. I will be more than happy to entertain. Thanks for watching this video.